atoms and molecules are the fundamental building blocks of matter. The existence of different kinds of matter is due to different atoms constituting them. But are atoms really indivisible as proposed by John Dalton? It was known by 1900 that the atom was not a simple indivisible particle but contained at least one subatomic particle. The electron identified by J.J. Thomson. The electron is a negatively charged particle found in the atoms of all the elements. These electrons are located outside the nucleus of the atom. A hydrogen atom contains only one electron and all other atoms contain more than one electron. Its symbol is usually E-. Its charge is minus 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulomb. Its relative charge is minus 1. Its mass is approximately 1 upon 2000 times that of a proton and therefore its mass is negligible. The properties are, it travels in a straight line, they produce mechanical effects, and are deflected in the presence of electric and magnetic fields. Now the atom is electrically neutral, so it should contain something that balances the negative charge of electrons. By experiments, the existence of positively charged particles have been proved, and these were called protons. E. Goldstein in 1886 discovered the presence of new radiations in a gas discharged and called them canal rays. These rays were positively charged radiations which ultimately led to the discovery of another subatomic particle. This subatomic particle has a charge equal in magnitude but opposite in sign to the electron. It was given the name proton. Its symbol is P+. Its charge is positive 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulomb and relative charge plus 1. Its mass is taken as 1 unit. The properties of a proton are number 1. They travel in a straight line and number 2. They are deflected in the presence of electric and magnetic field in a direction opposite to electron. Although these two subatomic particles were discovered, all the mass of an atom cannot be accounted for only on the basis of protons and electrons present in the atom. The solution to this problem was found by James Chadwick in 1932. This subatomic particle was named as neutron. Its mass is one unit which is almost equal to that of a proton. It doesn't have any charge and so it is neutral in nature. It remains unaffected in electric and magnetic fields. The mass of the atom is therefore given by the sum of the masses of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus. That's all for today's video on the different subatomic particles of an atom. Hope you liked it.